Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in again. It's great to be back uh, talking with you. Well, not technically, I'm talking and you're just watching and you're commenting from time to time, which is excellent. Thank you, keep that up. Thank you to the 161 subscribers who have decided to uh, invest a little bit of time in the time that I invest in making these videos. So big shout out to all of you and all of the other viewers as well. Um, it's great if you can subscribe. If you can't, I understand, um, all good. Now let's move on to the uh, topic at hand, which is the direction for the channel. So what I'm not going to be doing anymore is product reviews such as car washes and stuff like that. Main reason is the market is absolutely saturated with it and you sure as hell don't want to waste a few minutes of your time watching me fumble about making a video on car wash when you can uh, look at other people doing it. And secondly, I'm not going to be doing any more car shows or anything like that. I'm still going to be going to the old car show here and there, but I'm not going to be filming anything and posting anything because uh, if you've been to car shows, you basically see, I'm seeing the same cars at each car show, so it's, it's a pointless exercise. Uh, what I am going to be focusing on, however, is more Sportivo content because there is hardly any on the internet at all uh, or on YouTube. So I'm going to be focusing on that and I'm going to be focusing on the, the build of this car. So it's turned from a just a daily driver runabout into something a little bit more for me. Uh, it's still going to be a daily driver, but now I'm uh, classing it as a resto mod. So I'm restoring it back to its former glory whilst modifying it the way that I think Toyota should have done it from the get-go. So it was a uh, you know more competitive vehicle with your um, Type R Civics, like your FN2s and stuff like that. Toyota could have done a little bit better job on it. It could have been a lot more popular than what it currently is. But it's still a great platform. I love the look of the car. I love the way it drives. It's great on fuel. There's nothing goes wrong with it. It's as reliable as the sun. So there's that. All right, the other big breaking news for the channel is the full respray of the Corolla. So it's basically about to hit 20 years old. The paint on it is starting to get very tired in some spots. So I thought now is the perfect time to get the thing fully resprayed and I'm going to attempt an open door respray and yes I know what that involves and I'm going to attempt it in the shed at my house no fancy spray booths nothing like that just winging it as I normally do and we'll see how it turns out I am going to be getting a bit of assistance from a friend of mine who does uh, a lot of spray painting on the side and he's going to be helping me off camera because he's camera shy so uh, it's going to be a completely different colour it's going to be a similar colour to silver, but it's a flat colour, so that might give you a bit of a hint as to what it's going to be. It's a colour that's made famous by Audi, and it's been adopted by a lot of other car makers, such as Kia, Hyundai, Nissan, and the list goes on. So that's coming inbound very soon over the next, you know, four to eight weeks. It's going to be occurring, so keep watching for updates. All right, that's it for the moment. Thank you for tuning in once more. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your custom. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.